I'm Peggy MacDonald, and I'm the executive director of the Matheson History Museum. The museum's mission is to preserve and interpret the history of Alachua County. Preserving the history, come, it varies from our new library and archives, where we have a new state-of-the-art system, and that means that all of those um, artifacts, the photos, letters dating back to the early 1800s, they're all safe, they're being preserved in our new archives. Now, in terms of interpreting history, here at the museum, we have a series of temporary and permanent exhibitions on local history and Florida history, and we have many different programs where we invite Florida authors and poets and other speakers to come and bring history to life. Well, what's now the Matheson Library and Archives uh, started out as the Gainesville Gospel Tabernacle, and the congregation built it row by row, laying brick um, by hand. And that posed some challenges, unique challenges, when we were restoring the building. But it was worthwhile because it's a historic building. The fact that it was an early church uh, opened in, uh, the foundation was laid in 1933. And then it later became an antique store, and most Gainesvillians remember it as the melting pot fondue restaurant. We needed more archival space, so our collections um, were based, they were in the basement. We actually have a basement, and the humidity is bad for them, certainly flooding is bad for them. So we needed to find new archival space, a new place to protect and preserve our artifacts of local history. When the Melting Pot restaurant closed in 2009, when the museum was able to purchase it in 2014, it seemed to be a better option. The building originally had uh, pine flooring. Unfortunately, it had been altered over the years, and only maybe 20% of the original wood could be preserved. So then when it came to deciding on heart pine, that decision was clear because that was true to the original, and this is a historic preservation project. Um, now, there are, there are multiple you know, ways that you could get heart pine, but the architect and the construction company had worked with Goodwin before, and um, it seemed to be the best option, even though there's always a temptation to save a little money by maybe going with someone out of state. The quality of the Goodwin uh, floors was something that you could see by visiting previous projects. So the Firestone building, for instance, where it's just gorgeous. It was just sort of a no-brainer. <laughs> Overwhelmingly, the feature that stands out is the flooring. When you look at pictures, you could see the reflection of board members who are standing in the room for the first time, in the, op the open room when you walk in. And uh, we at first had no furniture, so um, it really stood out, the beauty of the floor that then brought out all the other elements. There are pieces of furniture in the building that when they were here in the museum, to me just looked out of place, that in the new space with the new floor, the, the wood floor just brings out the, the beauty of each piece. Um, it really uh, stands out and it, and it makes the space. If we had gone with something else, um, some other form of flooring or carpet, it just wouldn't have the same beauty.